Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today I want to talk to you guys about rep methods. Now a lot of people have been hitting me up asking me for rep methods. There's plenty of videos on YouTube. Um, basically, everybody wants to throw lobs. And the thing about it is 2K has not patched this yet. So I advise you if you are creating new builds to take advantage of this fully, okay? Because as soon as 2K patches it, we will be upset as a community because they are going to cap alley-oops let's go ahead and hop into the video make sure you guys hit that like button To start things off, if you are creating a new build and you're starting completely from scratch, the first badge that I want you to get is Lob City Passer, the next one is Floor General, and then Needle Threader. After that, you can put on whatever badges you want. If you already have badges and you're just grinding rep, only grind to 95. Do not do this method all the way to 99 because logically it just doesn't make sense. Now also, you want to be playing on Hall of Fame 12 minute quarters in order to get all the rep that you possibly possibly can. Now, the reason why I told you guys that it's not logical to grind from 95 to 99 with this method is because simply once you get to 95 overall, all you have to do is go on pro, get up by 25, and sim out after you use your takeover one time. Now, a lot of people will tell you do this method, get to 99 in one day, this is everything, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's everything, but you only have to grind to 95 using this Hall of Fame 12 minute quarter method. I advise you, please do not get the 95 overall and do this method on 12 minute quarters Hall of Fame. Bump yourself down to pro, get on five minute quarters, beat the goofy out of the CPU, get up by 25, call your takeover, and then you'll be good to go. Now, one thing that you guys already have seen is that you want to call quick isolation when you're coming down in the half court set for sure and that you definitely want to find out other ways to get alley-oops to players that you want to play with now the reason why i say this is a lot of people will tell you to go to a team that got a lot of lob threats you don't necessarily have to do that you can literally call the same screen and roll with one player all game if you wanted to as you guys just seen right there with me and Ben Simmons, Ben Simmons is not a power forward. He is not a center. What you have to do is you have to bring up the play call menu and call for positional play calling and hold the button for whatever player you want to throw the lob to. In this case for me, it was Ben Simmons, which is square. So like I said, after I call it isolation, call positional play calling, bring Ben Simmons or whatever slasher you have that is fast, that cuts, that makes that read perfectly and throw that lob. You know what I mean? I don't want you guys sacrificing the team that you go to in order to say, OK, I got all these players that can catch lobs. Every team has lob threats. Every single NBA team in this game. And my lob threat is Ben Simmons, okay? I will utilize Ben Simmons whether I'm on a fast break, whether I'm in half court set. And of course, yes, I will use Horford and I will use Embiid. But for the most part, it's all about Ben Simmons for me. Now, another thing that you guys can do to get rep, make sure that you call for that ball. Do not be one of those people that sit up there and let the play develop and then let the seconds go by running down on the shot clock no you want that ball in your hands in every single possession okay now another thing that you guys want to do as far as defensive um reads go a lot of people will tell you to run full court press or um full court trap in order to get more possessions yes that's effective but what tends to happen is if you want to be one of those players that sim out for any reason, whether, you know, you got to go take out the trash for your mom or whatever the case may be, or you got to go to work uh, real quick, you know what I mean? You just need to hurry up and get out of there. You want to play in a zone or in a half court press. Do not play full court because you won't be able to defend full court if you're thinking about trying to get steals the entire game, because what's going to happen is this year in 2k21 the cpu is actually a lot better not better in shooting but better in making reads of what's happening on the court and your teammates are not smart enough to keep up with their provisions so what will happen is if you're in a full court set 
and you're trying to trap or you're trying to press, the CPU will throw the ball all the way down the court and it will score every single time and you won't be able to stop it. So if you don't want to be in a seesaw with the CPU while you're doing your lobs, make sure that you're running a half court set. Make sure you're running a 3-2 or a 2-3. And the reason why I say 3-2 is for my defensive players out there. If you have defensive badges you need to get, you can have your bigs box out or you can box out and either one of y'all can grab the board. So rebounds work, box out assists work, all of that stuff um, attributes to your points. Now you guys see here, I'm a starter. I made 70K. You can make upwards to maybe 110,000 my points every single game. Now, that's that's saying that you can't foul too much. You have to make sure that you are not reaching. Oh, my God. I can tell you guys right now. I played a game with five fouls. Okay, I was in a match with five fouls and I could not get on that floor at all because it's not up to you who subs you in and who subs you out. And I wish 2K would actually put that in the game where we can choose what we want to do. All right. Now, another thing when throwing lobs right you can get in a post position and throw a lob what happens is when you come around the screen and the both defenders come to you it's an easy way for that cutter to actually know to keep cutting because for some reason the cpu just isn't smart enough where if you go to the lane they'll break off and then you'll end up with 15 turnovers a game for no reason whereas though it's, it's ideal to try to keep it under 10 turnovers, but you want to try to get 50 plus assists, okay? Now, I hope that this video was very helpful to you guys. Um, also, um, I will elaborate more on this whole 95 to 99 fluctuation, but 70 to 110,000 my points per game is easy for any playmaking build that wants to get their playmaking badges without having to mess up their park record or their rec record okay i don't advise you if you're not an elite player to go out there and play online trying to get rep get your rep in my career get up out of there and come back to the park heavy hitting you feel me real quick let me clarify something for you guys there's always uh questions inside my comment section asking how why what's the reason is it worth it should i do it do you have any other methods i do have many other methods but today we're focusing on playmaking okay but let me clarify something to you the reason for rep method videos is for people that are about to create the build with the actual method at hand to focus on so the reason that this video is out is for playmakers to earn all of their playmaking badges and earn the max amount of my points per game until their my points are maxed out once their my points are maxed out they don't have to do my method anymore they can literally cease the method and go have fun elsewhere but for those that get to 95 overall and you want to go to 99 there is a race that you still have to take to get from 95 to 99 and this is not the method okay there is a secondary method the method next is bump down to pro five minute quarters beat the goofy out of the cpu by going up 25 points by the beginning of the third quarter and sim out once you sim out of that game you will play like a 99.9 .9 and that will go to your new overall because remember the fluctuation system is still in nba 2k with the new the new uh 2k21 so once you get to 95 start your fluctuation method get to 99 and then you don't have to play my career ever again unless you drop and you can't get back to 99 the conventional way against park players or rec players okay so thank you guys for watching this video make sure you guys like it up uh if you guys want any other methods please let me know inside the comment section and i'll provide them thank you guys so much for watching peace